Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Have you ever filled a check? All of us would have definitely filled a check or at least like issued a check to someone. So the first thing, uh, have you ever noted that whenever you fill a check, you put a double line at the top left of it? Or have you just striked out the empty spaces on a check? Do you ever know like what is the reason behind that? If you know that, just leave your comments below. We'll know in the further part of the video what those two lines denote or what exactly is that referring to in a check or when you issue a check. So before these days of uh, having your account holders just only issue a check or people whoever owns an account to just have a check, we used to have a system earlier in the banks. It's still been used in some banks or when it's been issued to some other uh, public vendors or to people who are not involved with you. So we call them as the uh, bearer checks. So these bearer checks are nothing but a type of financial document. So that belongs to whoever is like physically holding it. So it's unlike your regular check where it's only payable to a specific person or an entity. So this means that like anyone with a check can encash it without any uh, endorsement or without any identification. So uh, they can very easily go to the bank, just issue, give this check and they can uh, automatically start using it. So what problem that happened with these is that like there was a lot of... Uh, fake accounts that were like happening up like because uh, this is normally gets stolen and anybody who has got this uh, check physically in their hand will be able to encash it they don't need an account or they don't even need to like uh, submit their documents or id proof even uh, only when the amount is like huge it like normally the banks ask them for their identification proof if the amount is going to be like 5000 or 10000 or things like that banks normally ignore their uh, documents and they have been automatically encashed so the things that are required to uh, write a bearer's check. So the first thing is like when you go to a bank, we normally take a blank check from the bank and uh, we just fill in the date and we write in the place of uh, uh, the name or the pay to section, we just write it as cash. All of us would have done that. So when we were in your college days, we take up your DDs for your college or in the name of the institution, we write to pay the bearer or pay cash and we just put in the amount, whatever amount is to, next to it. And then we just put the uh, sign at the bottom of it, like whoever is like check issuer. And then like we'll be able to uh, just automatically encash it. So this is, was uh, the case of your bearer's check. We just double check everything and we just give it to the bank. The bank normally takes up this and we, they will look for the account holders information and they do automatically issue these things. When the amount like exceeds over like 50,000 or like uh, when it is over a lakh, normally banks ask them for their ID proof and check and the information to verify their credentials and stuff. Otherwise, there is no endorsements from the bank whatsoever. And whoever holds this check will be able to like withdraw it automatically. And a bank normally, when a person is like regularly like following up the bank, say for example, you have a salesperson in your office or someone who's into marketing, who's like uh, uh, depositing a fund or who's like withdrawing funds every day from the bank. Normally, banks do not uh, cash it like they do not pay it as an account pay. Those two lines which we normally do, that refers to an account pay only, which means a person who holds a bank account in that particular bank will be able to deposit this cash, this check in the bank and they will go to the uh, actual bank who has issued this check and the um, remittance will get cleared and then the funds will get credited back into their account. If there are no funds in the issuer's bank, the check normally gets bounced. So that's your double line which is indicating your account payee. But in the case of your uh, bearer's check, what normally happens is bank automatically checks for the bank account for funds. If the fund is there and the amount is like in a feasible range, banks normally issue your uh, cash automatically or they give it as a credit instantly. So some bank may limit when it is a large transaction, say for example, two lakh and above. So at that time, a banker's check will not be like acceptable. They would say it's like, make it as account payee. So any amount more than two lakhs, like RBA also has given a notification not to allow any bearer's check for amount over two lakhs. So, but for any other smaller transactions, banks normally just make it as like a cash deposit or a cash in hand and bank might be able to automatically discount those checks and uh, will be able to make those withdrawals happen. And not all banks do accept these bearer checks. There are a lot of banks who automatically decline that. They're stating that like for the security of the person and for uh, uh, um, like there were a lot of anonymous transfers and a lot of things happening because uh, when a check has been issued, anybody can steal that check. They can just go to the nearby bank and just encash it. To stop all of those bankers, normally some credible banks, HDFC, ICIC, they all stop these kind of payments and they just made only it as an account payee. They do not make it as like a, a banker's check anymore. Only if you are known to the bank and if your person is like involved, you'll be able to make it as cash or self and you'll be able to withdraw the amount from your account. 
Otherwise, it's always going to be a double line on your check and that's going to be your account pay only. And banks are now made aware of all these kind of illegal transactions happening or stolen check kind of issues happening. So these kind of limitations have been happening in this bank. So this has become a very credible thing now in the bank. This also entertains the users also to have a savings account in their bank and to encash these checks which are account pay only to automatically credit into the account rather than make it as like a, a bearer's check or pay the bearer or pay cash. So this is what a bearer's check is and if at all you happen to sign a check next time, do make sure that you put those double lines up top and make sure that it's only an account payee unless and until if you are giving it to your uh, persons nearby or who is like close to you where you can issue them cash. But I would still advise you not to give it as like a bearer's check. Always make it as an account payee so that even if the check is lost, it automatically reaches to the person who is involved only with the account. And also as a note of thumb, normally banks ask you for you to write the name of the person along with their phone number in the back of the check just to make sure that if they are doubtful about any scenarios, they'll give you a call automatically and make sure that like you are the person who have issued the check and it is truly legitimate and it is like truly credible from your end. If you like this video, do share it with your friends and for more such videos to get transferred across others and uh, do smack that like button as well and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.